So you know, back in the day, I'm 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 with these these assorted and sundry MLM companies and network marketing companies, and you know they all have their incentive programs. They're there are things that they hold out in front of you. They're carrots, if you will. You know, the, the the cars and the trips and the jewelry and the this and the that. And none of that stuff, I mean, I know it was supposed to, but it never motivated me, okay? I thought, you know, okay, fine, there's something wrong with you, Heath, because this stuff isn't getting you to move, you know? And then I was fortunate enough several years ago to pick up a CD set by the late, great Mr. Jim Rohn. And the name of that CD set is The Day That Turns Your Life Around. And in in that CD set, he talks about how disgusted he was with himself because one Saturday morning when he was, oh, I don't know, 25 years old, 26 maybe, there was a knock at the door, and it was a little, like, 9- or 10-year-old Girl Scout selling Girl Scout cookies, and he didn't have a couple bucks to buy Girl Scout cookies from, from this little girl, and he lied to her and told her that, you know, oh, he had already gotten all of the Girl Scout cookies he needed from his associate at work or something to that effect. And he talked about how much that disgusted him with himself. How he told himself that he would never be in that position again, ever. And, you know, Kim has said it, Wes has said it, but when I listened to that, I realized in a very real sense, how motivation has got to come from the inside. And there really wasn't anything wrong with me because I wasn't motivated by Mercedes-Benz or or, or trips or diamond rings or whatever. <clears throat> what Mr. Rohn suggested in that audio series was that we all have a moment, we all have a day, we all have a time that we can pinpoint, that we need to get quiet with ourselves and, and find ours. You know, it's 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 deeper, if you will, than a, than a why. It's more than, you know, I want to pay off my credit card or I want to leave my dead-end job or, or even, you know, I'm getting close to retirement and I need more, you know, my own income or whatever. But it's it's really, really deep and it's connected with a very strong emotion. It's that thing that happened whenever that made you stand up inside of yourself and say, never again. That is never going to happen to me again. It could have been that you lost something, you know, a job or a relationship. It could have been the way your boss treated you that day for the umpteenth time. It could have been the look in your little girl's eyes when you had to tell her no about that special dress or outfit that she wanted for the first day of school. Something, something that is connected to a really strong emotion in the middle of you. We all have a point in our in in our histories where we have that, where we can point to it and say, Yeah, that's when it changed inside of me. Okay? Well, chronicle that, write it down, remember it. Remember every detail about it, what you were wearing, the sounds you were hearing, how you felt, especially how you felt. And then on those days when you don't, you know, have like energy or you just don't feel like doing what you know you're supposed to be doing, go back to that moment in your mind. Go back to that moment when you said, never again. And just remembering that day can motivate you when nothing else can. (laughs) 